Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Melanie from Melanie Tries Recipes. In today's recipe that we will be um, trying is a 1950s version of Sloppy Joe's. This is an awesome recipe. Originally it started off with my grandma cooking it and then my mom and now I cook it as well. And first we're going to start off by chopping up some onions. And you know how much I love to do that. The thing I don't love to do is the dang voiceovers. They drive me crazy sometimes. Alright, got them all chopped up. Let's go take that over to the pan. Alrighty, let's flip the dog's burger. Let's uh finish getting this uh um, ground beef all separated. Sorry, it was still partially frozen. That happens sometimes though, right? You, it happens to you guys too, right? You don't defrost your meat in time and using some burger that's still frozen a little bit. It all works. Throw them onions in the pot. Throw a piece of cheese on the dog's burger, you know, because he's spoiled. Let that, uh... Let that cook up a little bit. I am actually in the process of draining some corn. There there goes the corn. So now we're just going to separate the little onion pieces from each other. You know how you got to do that sometimes. Stir that around. Scrape the bottom. Put a little olive oil in there because it's not, not enough fluid down at the bottom of this pan. It's starting to stick. Throw in a can of Campbell's tomato soup. That's the secret ingredient for this recipe. It's got to be Campbell's. It's got to be Campbell's. So then we are just going to be stirring up our corn. Add a little salt to the corn. Add a little salt to the Sloppy Joe sauce. Aimlessly wander around the kitchen. Make sure I wash my hands. Stir up the sauce. Stir up the corn. Finding my ingredients. Where's my ingredients? Oh my gosh, you guys. There it is. All right, we're going to put a little plockmans in there. That would be yellow mustard. And then also about a, a heaping tablespoon of brown sugar. And then get that all mixed together really good. Set it aside. Drain a can of potatoes. Two cans of potatoes, actually. Put them in the pan. Put it on the stove. Put some salt and pepper on it. And then fry them up. And then forget to record it. So let's go get all this yummy looking food out onto this plate. And there it is. Look at this plate of awesome food, guys. We got some homemade sloppy joes with some fried potatoes and some uh, some corn. And you have to make sure you put a slice of cheese on top of that sloppy joe sauce. And then cut it in half so I can show you what this looks like. And this is way better than the manwich stuff. I thought I was showing you guys. Apparently I'm angled a little too far down to show you what that looks like. Anyways, you've seen the sauce in the pan, so you know what it turned out to look like. So all I did was throw a piece of cheese on it and put it on this really nice bun. And the thing the thing is, if you had a, if you have a yucky tasting bun, it's going to make the sloppy joes taste yucky. But if you have a really nice yummy soft bun it is going to taste awesomely delicious see i even gave a thumbs up for this guys anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the recipe thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share all right see you next time bye